What's up guys, this is Raylan. Today we're going to be looking at Ghosts. Um, half a million people playing right now on uh, Xbox Live and... Well, it's just, just one of those games that I didn't think Affinity Ward would drop, you know. Uh, but they dropped the ball pretty hard on this one. Uh, first off, let's take a look at the menus, starting from the main menu. Um, well, comparing it to Black Ops 2, it's not as clean. Um... Because at the beginning, you know, you had all your friends online and you had what they're doing right over here, you know, where the, the big world is. I can't really show you because I don't have, it's not playing on the PC, but, um, the globe right in front of you, you're, you're seeing, like, the earth or whatever this, this is. This should be filled with, like, what Black Ops 2 had, like, what your friends list or something right here. Um... It's, it's it's just it's kind of barren, you know. You only have these four things to choose from, and everything to the right of it, it's just it's just open, like a diamond earth fucking deal. Honestly, they could have put the friends list there and then be able to go over and then down and invite them. Um, but actually, that's not the actual menu to invite them to the lobby. So I don't know. They kind of this is really screwed up, but whatever. Um, here, the friends list is really confusing because I was trying to get to my recent players after I was done playing with somebody. I wanted to invite them to a lobby, and I couldn't figure out how to go over. Um, but sure enough, it's just it's just over with the right, um, the left stick here. So that's pretty weird. Um, I have a clan. I really wanted to check out Clan Wars. Um, so I got people in my clan. We have at least five. But I couldn't, I had four of them in the party, and I didn't know how to fucking get into a clan versus clan. Then I go online, and I look at it, and they're like, something about using the app, and I don't know. It's just really retarded the way they set this supposedly league play up. Uh, for those lone wolves that used to just join league play, and uh, if you were a master rank, you got into a master lobby, and you played with people that actually gave a shit. Um, there's barely anybody, th in, in total, there's 2,500 people playing. Um, in both of these, uh, both of these clan war objective modes, team modes here. So that's, that's pretty bad. Out of 500,000 people, only 2,500 are playing clan. Uh, cause I, I assume that only a very small percentage of Call of Duty right now understands how even clan wars works. Um, or clan versus clan works. So I sure as hell don't. I went online, I looked at... Uh, frequently asked questions for Activision support, and um, I, I didn't know what this was, what they were talking about here. Um, it's just a lot of fucking everything. I don't want to fucking read. I don't want to read this shit. Just tell me what I need to click on, and sure enough, uh, you could just say that instead of having 17 fucking sentences explaining how it works. It shouldn't be this complicated. It should not be this complicated. Um. So they, they were talking about some kind of this Clan Wars uh, the app, whatever it is. I don't understand. Um, I, I thought that Clan War, Clan versus Clan, would have to do with a section of the map that you control or that teams control. But then how does that work for ladders? I mean, are you matched with people? And, and if so, how do you get matched? Because um, in League Play, you played five matches. And depending on if you won or lost, and somehow secret skill that the game only knows um, placed you in whatever ladder that you're supposed to be placed in. So I was always placed in Masters after my first season, um, which is great. You know, as Master Rank 1, I know how to play, you know, with competitive. It was in my blood, and I, only, I played it for months. It was much better than playing Publix because I knew that at my, my skill level that I was way too good for just random Publix. Um, so, I never played Publix in Black Ops 2, because League Play had my attention. Now, I don't know how to get into this clan stuff. I don't know if somebody wants to be nice and tell me exactly how through the comments. Um, but normally, a lot of people that comment on my videos are assholes. And, uh, hell, if you want to feel like doing something useful or, I don't know, mouthing off, I don't, I don't care. Um, but some help would be appreciated. So, let's take a look at the game modes. To me, when they um, broadcasted this thing live, talking about all the game modes, it seemed like there was a lot more 
game modes than this. Honestly, uh, okay, I can only think of three right now that might be um, competitive. I don't know what competitive is going to be playing. I know in the past it was Domination and or Kill Confirmed. Um, I know for sure that Search and Rescue is going to be one. Blitz is going to be one. Um, in fact, it's definitely not. Uh, Kill Confirm. I don't know if Kill Confirm or Domination. Probably Domination. Um, but then if one of the teams gets B captured, um, it's pretty much over because there's, there's just no way to come back from spawn trapping, which is another horrible thing in this game that they just did completely wrong. Um, I would upload some some footage of of that stuff, but I, I just want to. Anyways, um, going back to the menus here, normally when you were playing, um, you just pressed X and pressed A, and you would mute everyone in the whole lobby, or you had the option of just muting people besides your party members. Now that you have to individually mute each and every single person um, that you want to mute, and you can't press select and mute them in game either. Correct. There's no way to select them because if you press if you press select, you just correct. get this little menu in the top right. There's no way to actually mute them from in game unless you go over here and mute players, and then you mute all or mute all the friends or turn mute off. You know, it's just kind of dumb. You don't have that singularity mute. Um, God-like ability that you did in Black Ops 2. And right there, I just got killed from the back. I, I, I know I'm talking, I joined a match in mid... Uh, in mid-mode here. Or game mode in mid-match. And... This is one of the worst maps I've ever seen. This is just terrible. Um... Oh, that's cool. You know, just snipe from wherever you want to. And that's another thing. Where he was sniping, I actually spawned in. So... I actually spawned over Any here, and he's sniping just up there. Now, I don't I don't like that at, at all, because the spawns are so fucking retarded, there's so much elevation in these maps that, um, Correct. somebody can flank and then fuck up all the spawns. At least in Black Ops 2, the competitive game modes in League Play Correct. didn't have any uh, little elevation in them, because the spawning obviously was terrible in Black Ops 2 because you could spawn trap literally. They yeah, knew where you were spawn and they would just sit out here like a cop car or junk, you know, back in slums. That was one of those hard point matches that if you got, or search and destroy. Excuse me. Um, capture the flag. If you got ca caught dying and then you sent somebody over there, they could just cap until you, somebody got like a grenade off or something. Um, but whatever, everybody knows what, I'm, what I say. It, spawn trapping is retarded. It needs to be fixed. It, it's just one of those things that will probably never get fixed. Which so, all pretty, pretty whatever. Uh, the game itself is smooth, I guess you can call it. But another thing wrong with the maps is that there's so much shit. In these maps, so much crap, so big, too much elevation, um, too many points of openness. A lot of them. Prison Break map is hilariously terrible, and dogs are hilariously terrible too. Because um, I literally, when I was playing with my assault um, package, I got my dog. I saw I could call him in, and he got my maniac for me. Now that shouldn't happen because that's like 10 kills more that you gotta get in the, in the assault assault package to get that maniac, and my dog got it for me. Kind of retarded. It takes three sniper bullets to kill one dog. Um, you, you shoot him and he actually goes down. You shoot him again and he whimpers and like limps away. The shirt, third shot would kill him. Now, that's just absolutely retarded, in my opinion. And it should be nerfed. Those little IMDs, or IMEDs, or whatever you call them, are way better than bouncing Bettys. Way better than Claymore. It's literally a Claymore with the blast radius all around it. There's no surviving unless you have that impact stuff on that protects you. Um, I'm good, so that score doesn't even really matter. It's just, there's a lot of things they did wrong with this game. They dropped the ball so hard. Um, well, squad, squad points are fun, I guess. But what I don't understand is you have to unlock all the weapons um, by buying them. They don't unlock by rank, so you have to literally buy all of these weapons. Any one you want, you gotta buy. How much? Okay, whatever. I guess that's maybe the point of it. But then perks, 
can either buy them or they unlock at a certain level. Um, this one unlocks at 56, I'm 46, or I can just buy it now for 9 squad points, which is whatever. Um, the assault, there needs to be a lot more kill streaks in here. This is retardedly ridiculous. You have two maniacs, um, SATCOM, one of those little IMSs, things that you know you, you really can't survive. Um, I really haven't thrown on the resistance, whatever it was, to, uh, explosions. Um, Guard dog is absolutely ridiculous. It shouldn't be in here. Automated sentry gun, obviously, they took that away from league play because they just felt that it was too overpowered. Uh, this Trinity rocket is ridiculous. It's I don't know if they were trying to mimic the Hellstorm. I don't know what I don't know what the hell this is, but I mean it. It's just I just you know whatever whatever on that one. Battle end high end excuse me is um, overpowered if you get it. Uh, nine nine kills obviously for um, a pro player to come in here into a random public match and get is pretty easy however this isn't black ops 2 so it's not as not the same public as black ops 2 so it's, just, it's pretty actually hard to get streaks going um maybe unless you have dead eye a lot of this shit is just ridiculous and um the vulture vulture companion i haven't seen that one go anywhere but the griffin is hilariously hard to shoot down um the other streak in Black Ops 2 was fairly easy to shoot down when it was flying around. This, I literally put three clips. I missed a few bullets because this thing is, is awkwardly handling. Um, but I couldn't hit this thing for the life of me. Haven't used an Odin Strike or a uh, Loki, please. Um, I assume that it's great. Um, Helo Pilot is, is pretty overpowered too. Any Maniac is overpowered as well. I haven't really unlocked all this shit yet. I'm not going to use the Owen Strike. I don't know what the hell that's... Why? Um, I do like the Hilo Scout, though. That's pretty fun. But the sniper that you use is really awkward. And you can fire... On There's only four bullets in the case at a time. And they aren't always a one-shot hit. And the way you strafe with the gun is very awkward as well. Now, I haven't seen the support squad mate yet. I haven't seen anybody use that. Um, I've seen someone use the Night Owl, and by the way, Night Owl was really give away your position, as well as the Guard Dog, but the Guard Dog knows where um, its master is spawning, so when you kill its master, it will shoot off in a different direction and will kill anybody in its path, which is ridiculous. Um, the Ballistic Vests, however, allow you to take one bite from the dog, but you have to kill it within the two seconds that it's biting you and it starts biting you again. Which is pretty damn fast and I don't think there's any gun that shoots it, kills it as fast as a shotgun. And I don't know if anybody's running around with those things. Um, let's take a look at the guns. Now all these guns are um, fully automatic. I've never seen so many guns fully automatic. Um, this one's the only three round burst and it does kill you in three rounds. It is ridiculous. Um, shoots so damn fast and it's just kind of overpowered honestly if anybody realized you know if anybody used it super accurately they could kill everybody in the goddamn game um fast rate of fire and full auto that's great remington i use that thing so nice because it looks it looks like an assault rifle that i absolutely love and it's, it's brilliant um the ak is all these guns are fine no complaint about them um Honey Badger, I think it's overpowered just a little bit. Dial down the damage because even with the silencer, it kills like a beast. This thing's got good rate of fire. Um, some of the guns have integrated attachments. This one has a laser sight, that one has a silencer. Um, three round burst. It's highlighted in yellow, if, just in case you don't know. Uh, some machine guns. This one has an integrated silencer. Everybody that uses this thing is pretty nice. This is also a half SMG, half assault rifle. And it actually looks like an assault rifle, not to lie. Um, it's pretty badass, actually. This is kind of my favorite looking submachine gun. Uh, you know, whatever. Um, if you're not carrying carrying a regular gun, you're carrying a combat rifle. So it's pretty cool, pretty badass, actually. 
Uh, the thing I don't like about it, though, is that you can't add a camouflage to your combat rifle. Or, excuse me, your combat knife. And you can't add a um, camos to any of your secondary guns. There's just no, there's no one of these things over here. So there's no way to add a camo to your secondary guns like you could in Black Ops 2. Three, it's whatever. So... I use the chrome barrel and the um, the variable zoom because I want to one day be able to get one of one of these suits. I'm not too far how long I am on the chrome barrel. Um, the uniforms are pretty cool. However, these are the only two special uniforms that they have. Um, gender, obviously, male or female. The heads, whatever. That's actually kind of badass. I like that. Standard issue. Standard issue. That's sweet. I didn't realize that they had that. Um, you can go online and look out how to get these. I don't actually know myself. Now they actually reward you for killing dogs. Uh, thank God they do. This is one of the helmets that I'm going for right now. Um, obviously, the ones on the bottom are a little bit harder to get. But the Maniac, that's actually pretty easy to get. So This one's kind of hard. Four clips. Or four, kill four enemies in one clip 15 different times, and that's pretty, you know, whatever, it's pretty standard. Um, I do believe this is clan related, I think it's like win one clan match and you get this un unlocked. And like I said, I don't know how clan wars even work, so I don't even know how to get into it. And if you guys would like to leave that um, little hint on how it works, it would be great. Four, five... 7 squad, 8 squad, 9 squad, 10 squad. Wow, that's it for 10 squads. That's cool. Um, you do have to purchase additional loadouts. And the way squads work is that whatever one you have selected when you go in will be... Actually, I'm not too sure even how this one works. This is what I will load into games with. But I don't know how to... Okay, there it is. Okay, X, X, X. Play as this squad member. So you can have all these guys out here, and this guy can be stealthy, and this guy can be heavy, but you can't choose which one. You can't choose both of them to go into a, a game with. So, honestly, these are just for um, squad versus squads, which is, I do believe, you just unlock five extra people, and you just send them in. One, two, three, four, five. You gotta buy that guy, I guess or to get into squads versus squads. Um, could not get clan versus clan to work, obviously. I, these two were locked the entire time. So, I mean, that's about it, guys. I'm going to end this video. I know I've been kind of rambling on about this stuff. I haven't played hardcore yet. Um, honestly, this game could have been so much better. Um, the friends list should be right below my name or somewhere on this HUD. I, don't, I shouldn't have to press this. And then look at these giant letters. I, honestly, this friends list is a little bit too big. Because I, I was trying to look down and everybody's got the same patch and stuff. So it's really hard to distinguish their name. Um, unless you're literally looking at them. Uh, vessel, yep, four people in that. So, whatever. Uh, let's look at operations real quick. Uh, these reset every 14 days. Every two weeks. So... I already hit my mark, I got 4 squad points for it. You can get new ones, which cost you 1. I don't know what that does, I'm not going to do it because I just don't care for it. So, um, assault rifles, SMGs, everything's pretty good. I see all these colors down here is because I have the specialist package. And, you know, whatever, it's pretty cool. Um, yep guys, thanks for thanks for watching. I, I would say whatever you want in the comments, because I know you guys don't care anyways. But if you, if once again, if you guys could help out um, on that clan versus clan thing, don't be afraid to just tell me what's up. So, peace out.